Grr, bow. It's profit. Pro dig and make a paper till the sun goes down. Do you dig me? Listen, shout out to everybody who's been tuning in, man. I appreciate that word up. Again, we doing crazy numbers. My goal again today is 80 likes on the video. But we about to do the list, you know what I mean? It's been a couple of days. So I'm about to bring you back with a new little list thing, thing. You know what I'm saying? But yo, rappers that came out with the worst sneakers ever, yo. Off top. I don't know why, but I'm going to say this. For some reason... All these niggas got similar shaped shoes. It was like they were all made by the exact same people. But first on the list. First on the list. This not in any order, though. First on the list, though. The game. My big dog. Step up, bro. Step up to the podium, man. Yo. What are those, dog? And I'm not saying, like, what are those? Like, nah. That's garbage, right? I'm saying, like, no. What the hell is that? Like, bro, this nigga came out with the... And you know what throws me off about these two is how he tried to throw in the different colorways. Like, he tried to throw in the Jordan cement white, the cement white threes, the black cement threes, the true blues, right? And I'm like, dog, why did these look like some... some some air walks, my nigga, like, <laughs> yo, these shoes look like every, every goth kid in school rocked these Jones, right, when you look at them now, but for some reason, my nigga game came out with those, like, they were fire, I remember the commercials too, he'd be like, yeah, got the hurricanes, I'm like, bruh, nah, my nigga, throw the whole shoe away, bruh, the whole shoe away, my nigga, yo, Look at this dude when he holding the shoe, though. He got the shoes like this, like, and, and it's all supposed to be mysterious. He's like, look around like, nigga, you know my shoes are whack. <laughs> but buy them. <laughs> Yo, bruh, get the shoe up out of here, bro. My next on the list, dog, brr, Birdman, my nigga. Step up, bro. Step up to the podium, bro, and get these jokes. First things first. I don't know why, but when all these rappers had shoes, it was like they just wanted to bite different styles of other shoes because I, I remember the lugs that he came out with the Wallaby. And I remember when Wallabies was fire, though. So if you had the Birdman Jones, he was definitely getting cooked. He had them two for 89s at Foot Locker Jones, right? Then he came out with that weird, like, prosthetic three-shaped sneaker and shit, right? Where it looked like literally if you was a barber with a bad back, that this was the sneaker that you was prescribed, dog. <laughs> like, bro, and then he came out with all the colorways. Like, he had the Gator Jones. Like, then he came out with the mid. Yo, son, when he came out with the mid Jones, like the four, they were like fake force Jones. I don't know, son. I don't know, bro. I don't know what... Birdman was doing, bro, but he had the whole line. My dude had, like, bro, he had to knock off Tim's. He had to knock off Constructs, my nigga. He had to knock off Butters, bro. Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, son. I never, I never, I'm gonna keep it a band. I'm gonna be honest on this joint, right? So... I had a pair of Hurricanes, right? Okay, but don't cook, don't cook, don't cook. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There was like a size 12. I, I was like a little kid when they came out. I couldn't even fit them, so I never wore them. I just wanted them. I took them on trade for some babes. I don't know why I traded some babes for those. And there was real babes too. Don't ask me. Don't ask, don't tell. But yo, I never had lugs though. I never was that nigga like never got, never got down on the lugs. That's a fact. But dog, next on the list... Hover. Yo, what we doing, man? You think you just gonna come out with this what, the S dot Carter, my G? This is what it is. Again, I don't know why, but why do all these shoes look orthopedic? 
why do every single one of these shoes look like they come with a prescription, my nigga? Like, a doctor got to prescribe you this shoe, bro. Like, come on, dog. The thing about the S. Dot Carter is the S. Dot Carter low-key got the same shape. It got the same toe box as, as, the, as the, the, the Hurricane, right? The game shoe. But it got the same shape as the, um, what you call that, John? Um... Birdman's Lug Jones, the, the Air Force Birdman Lug Jones, right? But I don't know, son. These shoes are horrible. Like, what, yo, what did you wear with those? Hold on. I'm about to see if I can find a, a picture of a nigga wearing the, like, how big do your jeans have to be for this shoe to work? Mm -hmm. Pretty big. I'm looking at this picture of Jay Z, and it, it, it appears to be that, that, Mm, gotta be pretty big like definitely gotta be pretty big that's gross man that's gross man the shoe horrible and then he tried to come out with the with the with the dressy jones like with the oh yeah i'm trying to be classy in my s dot come on dog that shit is garbage yo next on the list though i'm gonna keep it a rack with you Halle Berry, Halle Berry. I want to know the whole time how he even got this deal, but how did he get this Fila deal? Like, who... I know Hurricane Chris had a couple bangers, right? But how did he just get some, like, Fila, like, bodies? That's just, like... I don't know. I don't. That kind of surprises me. Like, he don't strike me as a nigga that would, would be getting a, a, a Fila deal. But anyways... Horrible shoe. Horrible shoe. Horrible shoe. And the thing about it is, like, they're not even original. Like, that's like a straight knockoff of some Prada. I remember when, when T.I. came out with the... And he was rocking the Pradas and he was, like, cooking all the niggas that was wearing the, the, the Felis and shit, right? And I'm just like, yo, like, what in the space boot, my nigga? Like, come on, dog. <laughs> What are we doing, man? Like, what was you wearing that with? Like, this is, like, classy but ashy. Like, how are you? Come on, man. Like, come on, man. Only uh, only a nigga that got box braids and beads can rock that. You know what I mean? Like, no disrespect to the niggas with box braids and beads, but my nigga, like, if you got box braids and beads, I guess that's your shoe, man. Like, that's the, that's the, the, the patent leather hood nigga fucking wedding shoe like that's what they wear at the wedding when they do yo bro the shoe is horrible the shoe is absolutely garbage and then they had the audacity to try to come out with the low version i'm gonna keep it a buck a lot of you new new york niggas was definitely rocking them low top jones i remember bro because in hartford and new york they was definitely rocking rocking now a lot of, i know a lot of niggas from the bronx that got them 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 low top uh, 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 Prada Jones, like, the, the Prada for us, the Prada for us, nigga, you know what I mean, but, yo, I'm not gonna lie, this one's off top, because I didn't even have this person on the list, but I have to throw him in there, even though, like, he's more of a, I guess he's a rapper, but, yo, them fat farms, bro, what we doing, what we doing with them fat farms, I'm gonna keep it a buck, all the girls in school that wore the fat farms with the different color laces and then the the, the bubble jackets with the with the, the fur on the hood, they was looked at a type of way. And all the niggas that did that, all the niggas that wore fat farms in school were definitely the niggas that was stealing out their mom's purse. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. I don't know. I don't don't fact check me. Don't fact check me. I'm not saying I got I'm just saying by the looks of it, that's a fact. That's a if you was rocking the fat farms, you stole out your mama's purse. If you watching this, just know. Just know that I know. I didn't like I said, I ain't even have them. I ain't have them, so I ain't do that. But I just know that that's the type of uh that's like the requirements in order to buy that shoe. If you had the fat farms, you probably was doing something that you had no business of doing. You was like the kid that all the parents didn't want their kid to hang out with. You know what I mean? That's all though. That's all, man.
That's all that's on the list, man. It's Profit Pro Dega. Make a paper till the sun goes down. Make sure you drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Grr, bow.